In Iran's capital, there were calls for revenge and a settling of scores with Israel over the military leaders killed earlier this week in Damascus, Syria. We expect our government to put Israel in its place, said a protester. The seven Iranians, among them two top generals, were in a diplomatic building when Israeli missiles annihilated the premises. Since October the 7th, Israel has accused Iran of coordinating attacks on Israel. The incident threatens to escalate what has essentially been a shadow war between the two countries into a full-blown one. Iranians are expecting retaliation. This professor in Tehran, who was at those funerals, said Iran's leaders will try to punish Israel, but not hit back hard enough to trigger a wider war. That it will be... Uh hard enough to make them regret the crime that they carried out, uh, but also to keep the focus on their criminal activities in Gaza and the West Bank. What form Iran's response will take has consumed discussion on Israeli news programs. Some have touted Israel's anti-missile defenses and profiled people preparing for the worst, including a man who bought solar panels in case generating stations are hit. Israel has also scrambled GPS signals to thwart Iran from aiming guided missiles, giving commuters in Tel Aviv wildly false readings. No, it's not work. It's, it's uh, saying that uh, we are in Beirut. While Israel has not admitted responsibility for the Damascus strike, it has acknowledged hitting many Iranian-linked targets, such as Hezbollah and Lebanon, over the past six months. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is already promising a response to Iran's response. Whoever hurts us or plans to hurt us, we will hurt them, he said, as Israelis play a grim guessing game of what will come next. Chris Brown, CBC News, London.